here to speak for what's right. Last week on December 8th, 2011, I spoke to the city council about the dangers of the poisonous chemtrails that sometimes appear in the air over our heads here in Austin. I asked you to permanently stop the spraying. Unfortunately, the next day, December 9th, new chemtrails reappeared over our heads in broad daylight. I saw these new chemtrails as reason to return to city council to share more about their dangers to us Austinites. Chemtrails are streaks of chemicals like sulfur dioxide found in the air which are spread across the sky by the spray system of a jet or a plane. Because chemtrails are often sprayed on the best, brightest sunny days, let's start by seeing one of those days before the spray. Uh, let me go back one here. Where do I put it? Okay, take a look. Now that's Austin on a good sunny looking day. That's how it's supposed to look here. Okay? No chemtrails. God-given blue day. I look at that sky and I think, God bless Texas. Now, that's a picture of chemtrails over Austin back in November 2003, according to the website that I took the picture from. That looks very different. Those, look at those chemtrails. Look how it cuts through the sky and bleeds poisons into our air. They're not supposed to be here. That's man-made. They're not supposed to be in our sky. And if we keep going, looking at the next one, Sometimes it looks like, like a lattice work over our heads, where it gets worse. And it can get even worse like that. Now look at that sky and compare it to what it's supposed to look like. Chemtrails, God made blue sky. Now I look at this, besides those poisons, and I think that also to me is an example of a way to try to like make the sky murky. Like as if we can't be clear about the difference between truth and not truth. It's like a mixture of half-truths and lies, all scrambled together so we can't see what's going on. It's also an example of mood control. I look at that sunny blue sky and I think hope, positiveness. I think about God. I look about this sky and I'm not sure what to think. I'm thinking, where's my blue sky? So I bring this up because sometimes also these chemtrails happen late at night so you can't see the spraying going on. But if you wake up at 2 or 3 in the morning and you feel your throat's constricted or your eyes hurt or it's hard to breathe, most likely those are chemtrails being sprayed at night, which they do sometimes as well. But if you wake up in the morning and look at the sky, you'll see stuff like this again over Austin. That's how you know it. Now, continue on here. For more information, I suggest you visit YouTube and look up the film, What Are They Spraying Up There? Go to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Google Chemtrails, C-H-E-M-T-R-A-I-L-S. Thank you for your time. Richard Trussell.